Hey everyone, so I promised to make a video about transferring the Phonutria species, or in other names, the Brazilian wandering spiders, and there you go. This is a Phonutria fera, also known as a common Brazilian wandering spider. They're really unpredictable, and uh, for that fact, it's a spider you could take care of if you have at least, um, let's say, six to seven years experience with other fast arachnids. So what I'm going to do is put in the enclosure into the larger bin. Then in these types of enclosures, the smaller ones. Um, so what I've done, I put some fresh substrate into the containers and I can transfer the animals. There has been some mold uh, in the enclosures of the Phonutrias and that's because of the high humidity. Put the boxes really close to each other to make the transfer a little bit easier, I will be wearing my Hex Armor Defender gloves, in which I can use to hold the tiny cup, because this cup I will use to catch the spider and transfer it to the other enclosure. Of course, there will be um, a couple of pieces of, uh, of bark inside of the enclosure, but that is not necessary for now. Now I just have to finish the, the transferring for the animals. So. We'll be using one tweezer to lift up the lid and I use the other tweezer with the tiny cup to catch the spider and uh, making the transfer as quick as possible. You don't need to hesitate, you really need to do uh, the catching as quick as possible but also you have to be very careful because they are very fragile so if you just uh, get the cup over it too fast and damage the spider and that would not be necessary. So, it's in the cup. And now I use the other tweezer to close the lid. So it's quite simple, can I say, if you do this on a daily basis, but of course this is just one spider, so I have to do the other ones, and in many cases what happens if you do it like three or four times, there's always one spider who's trying to escape, so let's continue to get on with the fun. Not still in the container. And I have to do this very carefully. Of course, I will try to lure the spider out of the container by using my tweezer, putting a piece of cork bark in the container of a Brazilian wandering spider really, uh, really helps with the transfer as uh, these spiders try to hide as quick as possible. So. Um, if I will be able to get the animal out of the tiny cup, uh, it will probably try to hide under the piece of cork bar uh, instead of trying to escape. So basically it's important to get some shelters in the container um, and that will help with the total transfer. Now again. to do everything with slow movements because if you work too fast the spider react to it and tries to escape so basically put the lid on top of it all in pressure and that's how you catch it see it's on top of the lid there you see a leg so when I open up the enclosure I have to be really careful because if I would do this with my bare hands then um, the spider could really easily get to my finger so that's a Brazilian wandering spider a beautiful animal mm -hmm. 
And the funny thing is that actually now he isn't really bothered. But I cannot show this animal for too long because with that I will be asking for a problem. So what I'm going to do is get the animal back in the container. There's the other Brazilian wandering spider. So let's go on with the release. position of a phonutria. This means back off or I will be biting you. And now you see that stripe patterns on the front leg and they're opening their jaws a little. Sometimes there's even venom dripping from the, from the fence to really warn you that these are dangerous. Beautiful already. Okay, so this one means business, and lucky for him, I mean business too, so I want to get this finished as quick as possible. And I really touch the hind legs of the spider, one by one, to make sure he's walking out of it slowly. I don't want to rush things with spiders like this. And he's almost out. That's the definition of being a wandering spider. These are really nervous and easily agitated species of spiders it's beautiful to watch no time no waste i gotta move with haste oh here one last shot the brazilian wandering spider And I currently own two species of wandering spiders, and that's Phonutria fera and Phonutria nigripenter. And it's sad that the nigripenter um, is almost on the edge of extinction in the hobby. Push. And this is typical for, for Nutria Ferra. You see that the black painting on the abdomen of the spider, and that's really specific for, for, Nutria, uh, for Nutria Ferra species. And lure the spider out. I have to switch the tweezers. So if I have to get in with the larger tweezers, I will get stuck, and then we have a, <laughs> we have a serious problem. And I'm not waiting on problems, not with these spiders, not with any animal. I agitated as well. It's hard to see on camera while he is biting the tweezer. Now, uh, drop that one down. And there you go. 